Right, hello everybody, welcome to match day five of G-Man Division 4, Rebel. Uh, this is a chaos a chaos mirror here um, against Kanuki's Whiskey Galore team. He's got a claw mighty blow there, another claw mighty blow with might, with diving tackle. I thought this was jump up, I thought this was in preparation for claw bomb jump up, but it's diving tackle. So he's got three claw mighty blows um, and a mighty blow, whereas I've got two claw pommers, but one hasn't got blocked. And uh, that's about all, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and a claw mighty blow, beast man. So we're both a bit killy, but not super killy. And uh, I won the toss, thanks God. So, um, so you know, devastated him with zero armor breaks. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> devastate the chaos guy with, uh, with zero armor breaks. And exposing my guy to be fouled. <laughs> <laughs> Super. So 13 players for me, 13 players for him. He's keeping his super duper ball carrier. Strength 4, edge 4. Blocks your hands off the pitch on defense. Fair enough. Failed to pick up. That was, a, that, was a, that was a standard first turn for me there, I think. All the games where I've lost the toss, people have made two removals, and I've been like, well, it's fair enough, armor 8. <laughs> I win the toss, and what happens? This. Oh, that, that was a bad move by me, wasn't it? Oh, and a bad move by him. Well, I say a bad move by him, but when he made this blitz, I remember when he made this blitz, I thought he was going to chain my claw pom to here, and then, like, three assist foul him. But he didn't. He just moved his guy out to there. But I, when he did it, I absolutely, I absolutely, uh, I was shitting bangers because I thought he was going to chain me out for a plus three foul. But he didn't. So that was good. Yeah, so it was bad in the end because he's only plus one fouling instead of plus three fouling. Okay, it didn't matter because he rolled a three. But I think he should have. Uh, he should have chained me back there for a plus three foul. Personally, and he's got his little his little man behind enemy lines there, which unfortunately I have got to care about a little bit. But he put he, this second GFI put him in blitzing range of claw bombs, so I'm not sure that was such a great idea. But of course, the Jim Powers came and saved him. <laughs> Get some guards in here. My guards. Guards. If I knock down this guy, I can make a claw pom hit. Oh, I stood him up. Oh dear. <laughs> this is going. This is going remarkably poorly. For as bad as it can go after two turns, obviously. Well, it's not because I could have. Okay, <laughs> I could have double skulled. I could have quad skulled though. You know, I could have quad skulled and had guys die, and he could have killed people off the blitz. Not down players. So as far as it, you know, it's not good, but it, yeah, it could be worse. But it's pretty unimpressive to have made zero removals. I haven't taken any. Doesn't, he doesn't get a removal there, and it's not easy for him to hit him with a guard here, is it? It's not easy for him to hit the claw palm. I guess he can one dice him. Or oh, maybe he can punch all these. One dice him, yeah, and then you can two dice. This is a, yeah, I remember him doing this now. This is a nice move to get the two dice on the claw palm. And gets the knockdown. Pretty annoying. Oh yeah, so I can block him. Safe moves first here. A bit of bit of safety first, seeing as the ball's under massive threat. <laughs> this is a rando armor break. Oh my god, Rando Kaz. Incredible. Rando Kaz from a strength four beast man. Outrageous. 
push him in, but it gets it the claw upon blitz in, doesn't it? Or or a block even a block. A claw mighty blow block. <laughs> Which does nothing. <laughs> in into the claw upon blitz. Oh no! No, I'm just gonna leave him there. Okay. Ah yes, because I needed this guy to cover the backside. Ah, no, that's right. Because now he can come in the back of the back side. So I had to blitz there. Killed him. Good God Almighty! Good God Almighty, I killed him! And he, luckily for him, his apple works. Otherwise he'd have had a dead... Fucking... Claw mighty blow block tackle. But yeah, it was a positional blitz, that. Because if I hadn't done that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, double GFI, 2 Ds the ball, doesn't it? So... And as it was, the mighty blow guy is pretty controlled where he is, isn't he? I guess he could maybe chain him, but it's not easy to chain him. I don't know. Uh, could block him, block him, chain him to there, block him, and then get 2D on the ball. Maybe it's hard, though. I don't think he can do it. I think that was asking a lot to, to get that chain in. With his lack of guard, he's got less guard than me, hasn't he? Oh, well, he's got... I guess this guard is in a bad place. Because of the failed pickup, he's not—he's not really applying his guard, is he? As much as he would like to. And he gets a AV break with a rookie, or well, a removal. But then, you know, I got a removal. I got a Kaz with my rookie. Incredible Kaz that was. One dice. Dirty one dice. I mean, it's fair enough, obviously it's fair it's a fair play to make. Now we've got the two D's back with Claw. Get ready to smash him, boys. Oh, there was there was some smashing. Nice removal from a rook, if, if a, essentially a rookie. This is a, quite a decent cage. I, do, I did this cage against the Skaven as well, didn't I, when I stole the ball? Oops, this is the problem with doing them out of stink, out of sync. I ignore, disregard what I said about the Skaven. <laughs> and the Kaz. Shame it was a shame it was a rookie beast man, but it's a removal, isn't it? He was defenseless. That's why I got the knockdown on him. If I'd hit a good player, I wouldn't have got it. So... The ball's protected enough, isn't it? And actually making some good rolls here. Three cars. Made three cars, taken none. You can't foul him, but he's got to keep his guard there to protect the blitz up from him. Is he going to foul him again? A bit risky now that he hasn't got a bench anymore, fouling. Gets a removal. Dirty Dino. But it's a double four, so he's off. So yeah, I think that's a bit risky now. Now that I think before he had, while he had a bench, I think fouling was all right. But now that he doesn't have a bench and doesn't have an apple anymore, that got a bit risky there. Because the drive's already pretty lost for him, isn't it? He's already down so many players that it's not going to help the drive that much. Um. And, you know, there's a good chance of it being a KO and coming back or it being a stun. And there's a decent chance of him getting sent off. So, I didn't like... I didn't think that foul was such a good decision. I'm not getting to move forward, though, am I? So... And now he's got his guard relevant again. Super relevant. Uses the blitz. Uses the blitz to get that. Okay, now. And a stun. But he doesn't get the knockdown, so now he can break away this turn, I think. GFI blitz to... GFI to claw pom blitz. I'm almost certain that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't roll a one. Straight Kaz. Glorious. No need to pile on.
Probably shouldn't have made that block yet because I could have moved the people through first, couldn't I? But um, very nice to get them through the gap there because that was really stalling out before. Huge cars there, really, for the drive. Two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. Not really. Can't really hit. And he, he greeds it, but only gets a push. And yeah, he's got. He's got. He's managed to get quite a lot back, hasn't he? He's managed to get, this is a bit, bit bit of a concern, but there's a strength four guy to make an easy 2D, so that's 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 nice. I think I'm gonna club on this guy in chain, aren't I, here? That seems the obvious thing to do, Ch blitz, the, blitz the dodger and chain out, and just score. Or not. I'm not even chaining, I'm just gonna make another punch. <laughs> Not even going to change, just going to fucking punch another guy. Ah, long. I guess I could go back a square. Oh. Huge KO. This, this, this strength 4, no kill skills beast man, has uh, made a KO on a Kaz. This drive. Pretty handy. No, I definitely don't need a score then now after that after that stun and that KO. Incredible. Sideline cage in it. Three plus six plus uphill. No, he doesn't go for it. Wimps out wimps out of the uh, of the hero move. <laughs> Thanks, Silmarot. <laughs> Uh, but now this is just 2D for a push. Oh, can I 3D it for a push? Can 3D it. Very, very good. And it was the third dice, arguably, that got the push. Things are so much easier when the dice are good, aren't they? <laughs> so much easier when the dice are good. Very lucky half that, wasn't it? Six out for him, two out for me, and mine came back as well. But, I mean, he removed one himself, and I did get caught some good claw hits. So I've still got two reserves. Uh, I forgot that it was at my stadium. And I've got throw a rock and get the ref cancelled, so I still protected my two guys from ref, from air, from ref, from throw a rock. Force of habit, taking the best players off in case of a rock. Um, and now he's got very few players, hasn't he, for the second half? Three, six, seven, eight. Eight players for the second half. And this is, this is normally what winning the toss as chaos does, doesn't it? Is that you end up, your opponent's got players down in the second half and they're going to struggle. And even if he casts two of these beast men, I'm still going to have 11 at the start of the second half. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. Actually surviving blocks. The fuck is this? <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. He could have it would have been three dice from him and the push would have given him another block. I didn't like that. I didn't like that too, D that at all. And maybe he wants star player points on him more. I don't know. No removals. Iron iron beast man. I am goats. There you go. <laughs> ah, 
I can totally just leave these, leave the ball carriers on the bench here, can't I? Don't want them to get punched. Don't want to get them punched up. Oh, I had a miss next game warrior here as well, didn't I? I only had three warriors for this game. So. I guess that's why I didn't like get a wizard. <laughs> Touch back. I mean, okay, he's, he's strength four, but if it had been there, then he would have had a cage close to the LOS and I could have swamped him, couldn't I? Swamped him? I was trying to say swarmed him, but then try to say swamped halfway through. Could have, could have swamped or swarmed him uh, if it had been a you know short kick. Now he gets the removals. And the bench is feeling a bit pointless. He could have made these removals last turn, couldn't he? <laughs> but instead... He makes two removals and it's only nine versus eight. Thank God it wasn't a remove. My apple's gone as well, isn't it? I think. No, oh, I, I, I had the inducements. I had, I had, a, I had an extra apple. <laughs> oh, his apple was gone. Yeah, that's right. So I, I could have, I could have appled that, that Kaz, but there's no point, was it? Because now I'm thinking this is the last drive, and I've got reserves. So there was no no real plan. I guess I could have appled the KO with having the extra one, but he was just a rookie, wasn't he? Against Kins Kill Chaos, it's pretty easy for them to make a bunch of cars at any point in the game. So I thought, let's not go crazy. I'm okay with trading blitzers, aren't I? Because he's he's blitzing rookies and casting them. So now it's eight versus eight. <laughs> oh yeah, I can blitz. I was thinking that this is shit. I can't blitz, but I've got. Uh, oh, I only push him. Greed it. Greed it because he's got stand firm. And get a Kaz. Oh, man. Glorious. Glorious. Come on, mate. And niggle him as well. So there you go. So he's come out worse now out of this game, hasn't he? With that niggle. On a block guard, stand firm. I mean, he'd already had the worst of the dice anyway, but... That cements it for him. He's making a bit of a move by the looks of things. I was happy just to keep that rule of five. Trade blitzers. I didn't want to base unnecessarily. Don't want to take damage against chaos on purpose, do you? <laughs> or increase the chances of taking damage against chaos on purpose. Now I'll probably all man's in, I think. Potentially. That was the that was the first action and the second action. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess we've got some manzing now, despite the stun. But a pylon is good, isn't it? Ooh. Oh wow! Interesting. Kept him in base to base. Not sure about that. Like, oh, because I had the guard. Okay. It's still pretty easy. No, oh, no, no. It's not because even if he blitters with him, he's four five. But I'm four five six. So yeah, that keeps him hemmed in actually. Oh, but he's got the guard, so we could potato out here. No, he's gonna, he's gonna run back. Oh, 
Obviously, I'm going to try and stop the score here, and I'm not going to have time to win 2 1 probably. So just do everything I can to stop the score. Best for gore. Oof. Dodgy, dodgy. Two dodges, mate. Dirty Dino. But now he's gone back, hasn't he? Which is good for me. With only turn, four turns left for him to score. I can go back central. Maybe I did overcommit. I didn't overcommit, though, did I? Only I didn't have an extra guy. I think if I'd got an extra guy back there, I would have maybe he's overcommitted. I think as it was, I think I, uh, I perfectly committed. <laughs> <laughs> The dirty player gets to punch, even though he surrounded him. And gets a Kaz! Oh! Outrageous! Outrageous Kaz! And then get the claw upon the claw. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it is a good team, you know. Like, obviously, we were on kind of even. Oh, that was. <laughs> Really bad. I moved, I moved to the wrong square and then just did, made a four plus dodge to correct it. <laughs> no, I think maybe maybe I did the whole thing where you don't click on the next guy. I don't know what happened there. That was terrible. I think I did just do a casual four plus dodge to correct which square I was stood in. I think I did. Wow. Outrageous. Outrageous dice rolling there. Yeah, because I wanted the guard in there. I did want. I did move him the wrong square, so then I just made a four plus dodge to correct it. <laughs> Outrageous. We've got the strength four Fagor here, haven't we? So G of five to two dice him, or is there something better? Move him back first. No, oh, I think I should have moved him back. I don't like this block. Like, okay, it gives us a recovery. But, um... I think maybe he's moving the strength four back would have been better, wouldn't it? Because in case I double won this GFI. Looking back, I would have rather played safe and just took him back to here, the claw mighty. Oh, it's because I'm going to blitz with him, so that's why... It, so it is a bit safe. Yeah, okay, all right, that's pretty good then. I'm okay with that then, that's all right. So I didn't, it was to save me the GFI blitzing with him, okay. <laughs> hey! Okay now, this little, this little bastard, you see for God. <laughs> Did a good job there, picking it up and running around, didn't he? Ah, he gets the ball down. I think he should have done two plus dodge out, shouldn't he? But uh, he did save the movement this way. One dice. I mean, he's out of options, isn't he, really? Apart from the one dice, there's six players or whatever. One, two, three, four, five players versus eight. So, yeah, it's, he's in a horrible spot now. Oh, it loads more strength, isn't it? With extra players as well. Not only are, are they plus strength beast men, there's also <laughs> they're also outnumbering him. Oh my. Can't buy a knockdown though. Oh yeah, you can Ooh, I don't I think I should have blitzed the ball carrier dude. Greed it and get a push. Why did I push him on the ball? I guess I just didn't go for the ball then. Could have blitzed him and then gone for the pickup. Go for the pickup and no, okay, yeah, just. I guess I'm 1 0 up, right? So I just. It's his turn 15. I just wanted to make sure of not, not losing. I don't know what that's got to do with anything, Skrill do, to be honest. This, that's not a reference to what you think it is. is. 
So yeah, I mean, you, you, I guess I just thought let's secure the 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 win. But he, he was out of range anyway, wasn't he? Even if he, he he needed to be one square further forward there anyway. He wasn't even in range. There should be a chance of a 2 0 here, surely. Surely there's got to be a chance of a 2 0. Cheeky Kaz. The good game for the Claw Mighty Blow this game, wasn't it? Holy shit. Make it three dice, lovely. Lovely jubbly. And he can blitz, pick up, run away. Surely. Ah, oh, get a scoring threat first. Like it. Fail the pick up. <laughs> so you can you can see why I'm thinking about uh, sure hands on my current level up. <laughs> Oh man, these these replays, so many failed pickups, outrageous. So there you go, cheeky 1-0. I mean, this could have been a 2-0. There's a few games this season where I've won 1-0 where I could have made it 2-0. But I was I was playing, I mean, you know, I, I, even though I'm trying to make the playoffs, I'm still trying to pixel hug a bit. And trying to, you know, protect the team a bit. Um, so I am trying to play super safe. And, uh, oh, it's good, good pile on. The classic turn 16, oh, it's not a turn 16 death. Are we going to foul? I should foul because you know his team could be a threat for the threat for the championship. Foul is strength four, Raj four. I've got to, haven't I? Oh, I don't get to. I cast him. <laughs> don't get the foul in. Only badly hurt. Oh, and I can go for the pick up pass and score. All right then. All right, maybe I'm going to win 2-0 then. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Well, there you go. So that, that, really, that really probably should have been a 2-0, the way the dice fell. But, um, you know, I definitely got the better of the dice, didn't I? Um, 18, 18, 18, 14, even though I had the piling on, so... Wasn't that skewed? Out blocked. Way more. Eight, eight Kaz inflicted. That's outrageous, isn't it? That's a lot of Kaz. Lots of SPPs. And uh, 36, 30, 27. Actually, bad block dice. Actually, like 24 skulls to 27 knockdowns. <laughs> and 30 pushes. That is, that is a lot of skulls. But it didn't really matter too much, did it? Um, I got my armor broken. 47% of the time. And he got his armor broken 50% of the time. Crazy. It's just when I broke his armor, I killed him. <laughs> Pretty much. 12 out of 12 dodges. <laughs> 3 out of 3 pickups. <laughs> My pickups were 3 out of 6. And then 27, 26, 26. So over, across all these dice, it looks like he had the luckier game, doesn't it, really? 12 out of 12 dodges, 5 out of 5 GFIs, 3 out of 3 pickups, better block dice uh, totals. But um, when it came down to it, and his armor held more. Oh, no, my armor held just a little bit more. Okay, my armor held a bit more. My armor's broke 47, his was broke 50. But the difference was... When I broke armor, I cast his guys. And that, that was as simple as it was, wasn't it? Eight cas to two. And if you make eight cas, you're probably going to win. <laughs> Blood Bowl 101 there for you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, 
yeah that's it right thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic